Hi aspirants, welcome to Rathod's IES classes. I hope you are doing well. Prelims, it is very much near. Yes, it is just three months from now. I hope you are doing well, but still I want to boost your preparation. So because I came up with this video here. So in this video, we are going to discuss UPSC trend analysis of prelims and even some core areas. So as you all know, in prelims, we will be having a GS, that is our general studies and also CSAT. I'm not going to talk about CSAT in this video. So in next video, we are going to talk about what is the strategy regarding the CSAT. And in this lecture, we are going to talk about only GS. I think you have gone through the syllabus of prelims, which is given in our UPSC notification, right? It mainly contains some subjects like geography, history, polity, environment and ecology, economy and science and technology and even that also includes current affairs of national and international importance. So this is a syllabus. So as of my analysis from last five to six years, so I came up with this chart. So this chart will give you a clear cut idea. So which subject you need to focus now? because till now you had done your preparation along with prelims come mains. So now you need to exclusively focus on this prelims such that you have to clear this prelims. So this GS it is for 200 marks and you will be having 100 questions. So each question is carrying two marks and there is also negative marking. You should not forget about this negative marking. So to clear this UPSC prelims, you have to come up with a target, you have to get at least 110 marks such that your hall ticket number will be there in the final list, right? So to get this 110 marks, you have to make at least 55 questions correct. But the fact here is even topper who do not know 30 to 40 questions. So remaining, they should be done on guesswork. So this guesswork, in this guesswork, especially elimination technique will work. So here you have to attempt at least 80 to 85 questions for sure. Even though if you're going for negative marking, okay, negative marking should not be more than 15, okay, so that, okay, 15 to 20, so that you will see your number is in the final list. So now let us try to see the UPC trend analysis. Okay, so if you see this chart, then you will be getting idea like which subject you have to mainly prepared thoroughly so that if any question that comes in uh, from that subject you have to make it right so first of all we will give priority to economy and government schemes because every year you will get like 20 to 22 questions from that economy session and next one is environment because for ifs indian forest services also there is a common prelims test along with this IS, IPS, IRS. So you will be getting more than 15 questions for sure from this environment. So out of these 20 questions or 15 to 20 questions every year, so 10 to 12 questions that is from your static syllabus and uh, that will be easily, that questions that you can easily do. But remaining questions that will be coming from current effects like which is a new species that is available and new species that mainly found which area like that you might not be knowing that. But from economy out of this 20 to 22 questions. So if you know the basics basics or if you're perfect with the static syllabus, then you can make at least 15 to 18 questions correct for sure. And why I'm saying we have to give priority for economy because if you see the resources and the syllabus compared to other subjects, we will be having limited resources. So we will be having NCRTs 9 to 12. So you have to go to this 11th and 12th NCRTs that to only macroeconomy but not microeconomy. And we will be having our budget and economic survey. And there is one book called Ramesing, but I will not suggest you because it is a very, very bulky book. So I will suggest you to take this Sanjeev Verma to understand the basics thoroughly. Okay, so these are the limited resources that you can complete so that you can have a very much scope to get good marks from this economy section. And from this government schemes, from budget and economic survey, you can cover that. 
and this one is environment so from environment about 10 to 12 questions for sure that will come from your basic static portion so that you can cover from Shankara's book or even from your NCRT especially 12th class uh, NCRT four chapters there will be regarding this environment and this one is science and technology so from science and technology also you will be getting 10 to 15 questions and most of this science and technology questions that will come from your current affairs and next one is polity so we have one guide for polity that is Lakshmikant you might be knowing uh, this Lakshmikant so if you are thorough with polity every year you can get 15 to 20 questions so you can easily make the correct options from that polity questions and this one is history so from history you will be getting 15 to 20 questions but in history we will be having ancient history modern history medieval history art and culture this syllabus is very vast and even resources are very very large and very very wide okay so even some questions we cannot make correct in history because if you see the recent trend the questions difficulty in this history is mainly increased now they are not asking from this basic standard books and they start asking the questions from the standard books which are mainly used for optionals for example upadhyaya like that and next one is geography so from geography we will be getting 5 to 10 questions and the resources for this geography are very simple like you can cover 11th class and 12th class in crt totally you will be having four books and if you want to read extra book you can cover gc leong for your world geography and next one is from agriculture so agriculture every year you will be getting five to seven questions so we're also going to see separately which are the core areas that you need to cover as well and if you're talking about others recently last films there were some questions which mainly asked regarding awards and even sports and every year we can see one question regarding any report or indices any organization which is in news okay so this will come under other or miscellaneous so these are the subjects you have to cover for your prelims okay there are some other subjects that you have to cover exclusively for your means okay but here we are talking about only prelims so for prelims you have to cover these subjects so this is like trend analysis and now let us try to see which are the core areas that you need to cover okay so if you are covering these core areas i can assure you that 80 to 85 percentage of questions that mainly comes from this core area and you have to ensure that you have to cover these topics in all dimensions before going into your prelims so within these three months of time you have to cover these topics for sure so first let us try to see which are the core areas that you need to cover in this economy session so first one is banking or financing so whenever RBI which is coming up with any bank rate or repo rate, reverse repo rate, okay, SLR like that. So that concepts are very important from prelims point of view. And next one is economic theories, especially macroeconomic theories that you need to know. And even fiscal policy. So in this fiscal policy, you can talk about government spending or government expenditure. And even you have to know some knowledge regarding organizations like a world trade organization okay it will be highly in news and next one is imf world bank etc and even you have to know about sectors for example we are having primary sector like agriculture secondary sector manufacturing tertiary sector services so what are the developments in these sectors and you have to know about performance of these sectors for example we have purchase and manager index and we have index of industrial production so you have to follow those indices as well and next one is we need to focus on budget and as well as economic survey so from these budget and economic survey you can expect questions not only in prelims but even in your mains okay so this budget and economic survey will be important for both prelims and mains to write answers from your main from your economy point of view and next one is government schemes for example how much amount of uh, money which is mainly allocated for so and so scheme so I'm saying you should not remember the figures, but you have to know some background regarding that schemes. And this one is you need to know inflation. Actually in 2021, there were three questions which appeared in our UPSC prelims regarding this inflation. And they asked very, very basic questions. So if you know, or if you know what is this inflation from the static portion, you can easily 
you can easily identify the correct answer for those questions so that those are such a simple questions that mainly asked so inflation is also very important and even balance of payment fiscal deficit okay that we are facing revenue deficit like that so you have to know about these topics for sure and these are the some core areas you can expect questions from this economy and now let's try to see polity and governance which are the core areas so as you know preamble so last year also there was one question from preamble in 2021 prelims so don't skip this preamble and this one is fundamental rights fundamental duties and now recently in current affairs fundamental rights and fundamental duties are highly in news because of some controversial statement which is uh, given by our prime minister so for sure this year you can expect a question from fundamental rights duties and as well as the dpsp direct principles of state policy so apart from that you have to know about president and governor so recently governor is also highly seen in news and it's when it's separation of power and recent acts that is recent constitution amendment acts recent bill which mainly passed in the parliament and even you need to know about judiciary especially this year supreme court is highly seen in news so you have to follow this okay and you have to be thorough with the supreme court high court and as well as the district courts or subordinate courts and this one is you can expect question from this constitutional non-constitutional bodies so this is one of the favorite area of upsc and apart from that you need to cover parliament and state legislature and as well as election commission so these are the some important core areas from this polity and governance and now let us try to see the core areas of uh, geography so in geography every year you can see questions from the lakes where they originated so which are the right bank tributaries or left bank tributaries so where they are joining like that you will be getting questions from the rivers and as well as lakes and you need to know about where the other some hills are present and as well as mountain ranges and even vegetation like which type of forest that is present in which type of area okay in the india and as well as um, in the world so in this way you can expect questions from this vegetation chapter and even soil is also very important and next one is wind ocean currents so this ocean currents we can relate this topic with environment and ecology because of this plastic garbage patch in pacific ocean and as well as in indian ocean they are mainly seen as the gyres so this gyres will comes under this ocean currents and next one is we need to focus on our resources and the climate for example especially el nino and as well as la nina concept in indian monsoon and we need to focus on cyclones because india in recent times it is mainly hit by the number of cyclones so there is a high chances of uh, getting question from this cyclones as well and next one is you need to cover minerals landforms landforms mainly formed by ground water glaciers wind running water okay so in this way you can get a question from this area and this one is you need to know about national parks okay national parks which are seen in news and even tiger reserves which are seen in news so these are the some important core areas for this geography and now let us try to see history so in history we have ancient history medieval history modern history art and culture so many questions you can expect from ancient history and as well as a modern history so in ancient history you need to focus on ivc so in ivc that is indus valley civilization you have to focus on the sites so which are the things which are mainly found in that sites and those sites which are present on across the which river okay on the banks of which river so these will be the questions which are mainly highlighted and even you need to know about the art forms of this ivc like uh, dancing girl and as well as a beard a man okay and even pottery like that that will comes under your art and culture as well and next one is the questions mainly come from this buddhism and jainism so buddhism and jainism they are important okay important areas of upsc and gupta is also very important and even mauryas and in ancient in uh, india or ancient history you can get a questions or expert questions from old cities and as well as port areas and if you come to this uh, medieval history so in medieval history you can expect question from bhakti movement sufi movement and every other question will be there from this vijayanagar empire so you have to be prepared for this vijayanagar empire and next one is you have to prepare moguls and even delhi sultanates as well and next one is in the modern history you have to focus more on indian national movement and indian freedom struggle and even personalities okay and even you have to focus on east india company and especially from personalities uh, you can get uh, 
a question every year so who is the author of so and so book okay so you have to focus on the books newspapers and work done and even organizations okay so this is from your modern history and this one it is regarding your art and culture you have to focus on different types of caves and even temple architecture it is also one important area and you can focus on unesco sites even ivc sites that is indus valley civilization sites and classical dances folk dances and even you can add here paintings as well okay so this is about your art and culture and this is whole about your history and now let us try to see some core areas of science and technology so if we are talking about science and technology you can get a questions especially from your current affairs and you can get like 10 to 15 questions every year from this science and technology so last year there was a shock in 2021 so many questions from this science and technology are not from current affairs but from basic static syllabus okay so you have to have uh, some knowledge okay you need to have some knowledge especially from your general science that you have studied in your school days okay so one question was based on rice cooker okay so because of this i am saying that you have to need uh, some knowledge regarding the general science as well okay so recently this internet and mobile it is highly in use you can expect question regarding 5g or 4g technology and even your mobile technology and most of the questions in science and technology that will be from your biology part for example per se protozoans algae bacteria fungi and which of the diseases which are mainly caused by those and questions from your dna rna and now coronavirus right so here vaccines are also in use and you have to know the differences of the vaccines whether they are rna based vaccines or uh, protein based vaccines like that and this one is uh, some favorite areas of upsc in the science and technology space technology so if there is any launch which is done by isro nasa and as well as uh, european space agency jaxa that you have to remember and per se if china which is coming up with any launch we have to remember that and next one is you have to focus on even defense technology like we are going to get a new helicopters from usa or we can talk about rafale deal okay so that will be important from defense technology and we need to focus on even energy especially we can talk about renewable energy nuclear energy nuclear sites in india and we need to focus on cyber security also because the cyber security is highly in use and finally we need to focus on nano and also biotechnology so from this biotechnology you can get much number of questions and every year nobel prize will be given okay in the fields of maths science chemistry so that is also very important from science and technology and next area it is environment so from environment you need to focus on international conferences so recently cop 26 that is conference of parties 26 which mainly held in glasgow and even wetland conference that mainly held so if there is uh, any conference of international uh, international conferences so you have to go through them and any organization any indices and even any reports that you need to follow and you have to uh, and one more thing i have to say here is so for environment from ncert that is especially 12th class ncert there will be four chapters which mainly talks about basics and you need to be thorough with that basics that there are just four chapters it will be it will be like 50 to 60 papers and it will not take more than 2 to 3 hours so you have to sit for that 2 to 3 hours and you have to mug up all the basics of this environment then you can answer at least 10 questions that will come in your prelims and one more important burning issue is climate change pollution you have to focus them and even you have to focus on cycles like circular cycle postural cycle high and water cycle so that cycles are also very important and you can get a question from that area and you need to focus on wetlands national parks and if there is any new species found so recently one uh, one lizard okay one gecko species which uh, got the status like army status so you have to remember that type of current affairs for sure and now let us try to move on to next that is agriculture so in agriculture you need to focus on credit finance and the subsidy is highly is in use uh, because of this wto ministerial meet 
and it to focus on farming method different farming method like shifting cultivation and the names of dif uh, different names of the shifting cultivation in different areas and you need to focus on different types of crops and cropping pattern in india even msp also important and even recent laws or recent acts regarding this agriculture you have to mark up them and if you see other areas like miscellaneous you need to focus on reports for example world economic forum will come up with number of reports for example if you see recently this uh, democracy index is in news and even we talk about human development index so there will be the different indices different reports will be seen in news so you have to know india's rank and even you need to know which organization which is releasing that and you have to focus on awards because last year we got one question regarding this awards bharat ratna and padma awards and next one is you have to know even person is in news and next one is from international relation so here if any country is in news means you have to open your world map and you have to see which are the countries which are sharing boundary and if there is any regional grouping is in news like quad or asian you have to know which are the members of that so in that way you can expect questions for, for example abraham accord is in news asian is in news brics is in news so you have to know which are the members of that so and so organization or so and so grouping so from this ir also you can get one to two questions every year so these are the some important core areas that you need to focus and please try to ensure before entering into prelims examination hall you need to know all these topics for sure so that i can assure you about 80 to 85% of questions that will come from these areas so i think i hope at least this video it is helpful for the people who are beginners so by this i'm concluding thank you so much and don't forget to subscribe to this ratur's as academy and don't forget to like share and comment my video thank you so much